Hey, this is Matthew. Today I'm talking about why it's so hard to work with people and how I manage it even when it's really, really hard and not particularly fun. Today is pretty late in the day for me to normally be recording a video. I try and do it earlier, but this week has been absolutely massive. I've had challenges, fights, not shout outs to people, but like I got very emotionally caught up in a bunch of conversations and so I'm not as organized as I normally would be, but here I am. And a lot of these challenges this week have been about communication. And communication is seems simple and everyone says, oh yeah, it's all about communication. And it's one thing to say that and it's a totally another thing to actually be good at it. And while I'm not the best communicator out there, I have a few principles that I think can help anyone who wants to be a better communicator in life, work, with family, with friends. And so that's what I'd like to share in this video. So the first principle I, I really think is the most important one is that just because I say something doesn't mean that's what other people hear. It seems obvious, I know, but the reality is that just because I communicate something or attempt to have a go and I think what I'm saying makes complete sense, that doesn't mean that it's going to make any sense to someone else. And even if they say it does, it doesn't mean that we're on the same page. And so many challenges, including the ones I've had, a bunch of the ones I've had this week, stem from people not being on the same page and also not really be willing to admit that they're not on the same page and then get up to speed with one another. It's only when we can admit that we, there's something going on that we can do something about it. And that leads to the next point, which is, the next thing is you've got to be willing to really clarify that you actually understand what the other person is thinking, what the other, the other person is trying to convey to you. This one causes me a lot of challenges because oftentimes people will say something to me and then I'll say, can I say it back to you? And then I have a go. And they go, why don't you get it? It's so obvious. And maybe it is obvious. Maybe I'm slow or whatever, but fundamentally, just because they communicate it doesn't mean I'm understanding it. And as the listener, I've got to be really clear that if I think this is what they've heard, they, they've said, I want to make sure that's actually what they meant and that, that we're both on the same page. And I think this takes a particular type of inner courage. And it's a courage to not just accept not understanding. You have to, in my view, really go after clarity, go after understanding, go after wanting to be on the same page with someone and be willing to look stupid in order to achieve that goal. I, I really think that unless I'm willing to look stupid, if I'm willing to say, I don't have any idea what you're talking about, then I can't, be, I can't hold my end up of the bargain, which is to be clear. And the next thing that I find so challenging about other people is that everyone is viewing the world through their own context, their own story, their own history of life, etc. And what this means is that even if I do think I understand, I may not be able to influence the outcome because they might be stuck in a particular thing in their own life and it's been expressed in the way that they're in a, working in a business context or it could be that I am stuck in the way I'm viewing things at a particular time and it just means that even if we understand each other we don't understand each other on a deep level we just understand the peripheral words or at least the concepts but we don't really understand the true motivations for what motivates this person and that's why there is this process I really like called reflecting on care and it's basically that I can think about what the other person cares about in this situation, what do I care about in this situation, what's important to me, what might be important to them and with that I can build empathy and build hopefully build some trust and ideally get better results. So that's what I have for you this week. If you'd like to hear more from me, you can subscribe to my email newsletter. There's a link below. And until next time, the journey continues.